We have contact, here it is. Medium moving ship. It's going to be off our starboard bow. Let's uh, straighten the boat here. Just get ourselves closer. That is pretty good. We will stop and periscope depth right here. Because then we should just drift just over in front of him, hopefully. Uh, or he'll be coming directly at us and into collision territory. Yeah, let's actually move forward a tiny bit. Just scoot a little bit forward. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Alrighty. So, let's wait a little bit longer. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, a bit more, please. I'll tell you when I want you to slow down time. Thank you. Right now. Okay, let's see what we've got behind us. These waves are getting right on my nerves now. Like this entire patrol, they've been shitty weather. Uh, where are you? Uh, I can't tell the difference between sky and sea. Over here somewhere, a, another medium old tanker. Alright, well that's not too bad. Uh, that's not what I meant to click. This is what I meant to click. Let's go this way, it's probably quicker. So, medium old tanker. There it is. We'll torpedo that. Aft tube number 10. We're going to go to a depth of 15. We'll take off all of that. Uh, let's have a have a contact torpedo for once, why not? Range is there. Angle is a little bit away from me. Speed is definitely not 24. Let's go for 5. And track, and what does it think? Pretty good. A bit slow. It's going 7. And the angle is slightly off. The angle is more there, and the speed is... Seven. Let's reset this. The yeah, angle is even more off now. That was awful. Alright, I'll put it back to where it was. And it's still not right, but whatever. Wow, it's going faster than seven. It's going nine. Wow, that was not expected. Alright, so up there, like that then. No. I swear it's not changing the angle that I'm setting. It's, yeah, it's not. Now it thinks it's like that. Well, maybe it is. It could be turning. I don't think it is. No, it's not turning. Alright, that is fine. So let's put a little bit of forward on it. Just a little bit. And fire. That's a low speed contact torpedo. So we have to get a direct hit, but we will do. So that's fine. There's contact camera already. It's behind us. It's there. So where are we going to hit it? Should be right in the middle, pretty much. It's going to be very low. Right in the middle. It's on fire. I don't know if that's going to be enough to kill it, but hopefully it will be. We will see if it's going to spread or if it's going to carry on. It looks like it's going to try and soldier on. It might actually survive. Well, it won't, but it might survive being torpedoed initially, at least. That surface. Because I will just uh, after a gun this guy. Oh, I don't know. He's taking a lot of damage. I might not even need to. Right, there you are. Definitely taken on a lot of water. He's got a big old hole in him too, right there. So, if we'd gone a couple of feet deeper and put contact influence on, we would have got him right under the keel. That's fine. I'm not really too concerned about that. After AA gun, we are on the surface. Let's just drop a few rounds on him and that should persuade him to die. Yeah, he's got a big fire on board now. Enemy unit destroyed. There we go. Knew it wouldn't take very much. Ooh, where are we going? Over here. Is he going to explode or is he going to sink first? I think he's probably going to sink before he explodes. I could be wrong though. Possibly. Hmm. 
don't know. He was worth 4,842 tons. That's pretty good for a single torpedo and a, a couple of shells. I think it's like six shells, maybe. Yeah, that's not bad. Alrighty, so do we have any more contacts? We've got one up here. But he's probably me medium moving, and I don't know where exactly he is now, unless he's the one I've already sunk, which is possible. Alright, so down he goes. That's a medium moving ship. He's not the one I've already sunk, but he's kind of going the wrong direction, and he's medium speed. This one, that one could be coming around to Surabaya. So let's go like this and see if we can't intercept this guy because I think he's too far north to be coming down here so I think he's going to go up around here and we'll see where exactly he's going to go so here we go, he's hit the, hit the uh, seabed but there's still a bit of him above the water somewhere apparently, yep there we go still got his arse sticking out of the water but he's dead so it's good enough for me I don't care if he fully submerges or not, as long as he goes down and gives me the credit. So that's good. How many torpedoes do we have left? Uh, four in the aft and twelve in the front, that's good. We have taken no damage that I can see. No one's injured anyway. Uh, yeah, no damage has been taken. No one's got any new skills, unfortunately, which is a shame, but never mind. How's this guy doing? Dick Kelso has got some experience. He's not quite up to seaman first class yet, but... He probably will be by the end of the patrol. And that is about that. So, let's go onwards and find some more. We picked up a slow moving ship, it's right here. This could possibly be the one I was going after, but I don't think it is. I want to go like this. It's very close to the shoreline there, which is a little bit worrying, but should be fine. We should also easily be able to get in front of this guy without having to worry about it too much. Yeah, that's good. Uh, contact 12, yeah, oh no, periscope depth, there are some planes right there. Alright, that's fine though, we'll just keep moving forward, because they won't see me. And this guy, yeah, that's good. Yes, I know, we're underwater and it's shallow. I think that's what that's, what that's saying. Yeah, close to the bottom. How far have we got beneath the keel? 51 feet, we're fine. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. In fact, I don't even need to go like that. I'll just go like this. There we go. That's good. And I'll be stopping shortly. Let's stop right here. Alright. And let's see what we've got right in front of us, not right behind us. We've got shitty waves again. Uh, that's a passenger carrier, isn't it? So they have a gun on board. If it doesn't have a gun on board, I'm just going to deck gun it. No gun there. There's an anti-aircraft gun on top, but I'm not bothered about that. Nothing at the back. So we'll surface and deck gun this guy. There's no reason to waste torpedoes on a guy that I don't need to torpedo. So, up to the surface we get. Yeah, there's definitely no guns on board him. Except for that one on top of that tower right there. Which is not going to do any damage to me. So that's good. We'll wait until we can get to the forward AA gun, which will be any second now. We can't fire it yet, but... We're getting there. Oh, yeah, we can actually. Alright. Peekaboo! I found you! Yeah, if you want to stop shooting me with your pointless gun, that'd be fine. You really don't need to hit me with it. It will do just as much if you don't hit me. I'm not an aircraft. So this guy will go down pretty quickly. Considering what short range he's at, I can't possibly miss. I don't know how many shells he's actually going to take, though. That's okay. He's worth like 9,000 tons, so he can take as many shells as he likes. Well, within reason, obviously. You might as well just abandon ship now, there's no way you're going to get away. He's taking more shells than I'd like, though. 
did die any second now, that'd be fantastic. Oh, there we go. I think he is done for. Don't think I even need to fire anymore. Nope, he's dead. He doesn't know it yet, but he is dead. There'll be a third fire popping up any minute now. No, never mind. I suppose technically an explosion is a fireball. That's a fire, isn't it? Right, split in half. That's another 9,256 tons. We haven't found a single large modern tanker yet, which is a little bit disappointing. But you know, I'll take this one as a as a consolation. So I still think this guy over here is is coming. Uh, there is a medium moving ship there as well. Uh, that one I think I've already sunk. Yeah, that was the one I sunk there. I reckon we'll go. Yeah, we'll go like this, and then we'll go up here-ish to try and catch this guy. Actually, that's going to be nowhere near where he's going to be, is it? Put that like that, and about there. He's medium moving. We might not find him. We might, we might not. I don't know. I'm kind of counting on finding the guy who is moving slow down here, sort of around here somewhere. So, we'll see. Let's return to course and onwards. Here's the slow moving ship. Not exactly where I expected him to be, but you know, I'll take it. So, we'll intercept him around here. That looks pretty good. Let's slow down time here. Go into periscope depth. Still can't quite see him yet, so that's okay. And let's stop here. So I think this ought to be about as close as we ever need to get. We're at periscope depth, so he should be coming in front of us fairly soon. And yeah, he's going to be pretty close. That's very close, actually. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, let's see what we've got. It's behind a wave. Uh, it looks pretty big. But I could be wrong. If that wave wasn't there, I'd have a better idea. Come on, move, waves. I mean, I know you're moving the whole time, but shut up. That is a medium old tanker. You can tell from the mast layout. He probably has a gun on board. I'm going up to 55 so I can actually see above the fucking waves and, you know, set his, his range and all that. Range is there. Angle is mm, like that, maybe. Slow speed, 5. Open up forward tube. Set it to 16 depth. Contact influence. Low speed, take all the jink off. Reset the tracker and see what it says. It so said I've got the angle completely wrong. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Angle is like... No, you He's moving away from me, isn't he? Surely. Well, it seems to think he's moving towards me. Oh, nope, that's pretty much spot on. Everything is spot on there. Let's fire right there. I could have sworn I opened that tank, but alright. Alright, that tube. Never mind. Away goes the torpedo. Let's have external camera. That actually might be too close to arm the torpedo. <laughs> oh, wow. That torpedo is, uh, yeah, very close, actually. But I think we'll still get him. Yes, underwater and then contact influence. Boom. And he's dead. Surface. Now that's a fireworks show. Return to course at two thirds. That was worth uh, nearly four, uh, nearly five thousand tons. Forty nine hundred and eighty eight. That was very nice, nice and quick, just the way I like it. And now we can see if we can find this medium moving ship. I reckon we will. I think as long as it doesn't change course, which is quite possible, then we'll find him. Uh, there's another guy over here, he's slow, we'll never catch him. I haven't seen any task forces coming via Surabaya, which is interesting, but oh well. I mean, we're here, so we will just prey on whatever comes and goes. So, we'll try and find this medium moving ship and then whatever happens to come. 
medium moving ship actually behind us. I think this might be the one we were trying to find, probably because he's changed course, which is fine. I don't mind him changing course as long as he changes course into somewhere that I can find him. So, let's get in position for this guy. That's pretty good. We will stop uh, periscope depth and just wait because he will just come straight along this line and we'll be absolutely fine. Let's, uh, hmm. We should be close enough for this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to 55 depth again. And we're going to go one third forward just because I'm a little bit concerned he might be a bit far away from me. Okay, he's not too far away from me. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, that's fucking awful weather. No wonder we didn't see it. What is it? Whatever it is, it does not have a threatening gun on board, so we're going to surface and deck gun it. But I think that's a, a medium split, medium composite. Actually, I know exactly what it is when I see it. It is... I've forgotten the exact name. This one, medium modern composite. That's what it is. Wait, no it isn't. No it isn't. It's this one, medium modern split. So it was a split. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a split. Oh well, that's fine. So, anti-aircraft gun. If we can actually see him, which we can. Are we getting hits with that? Yep. <laughs> Explosions are a fairly sure sign of a hit. Not even going to bother moving, just going to lay into him from here. Of course, because he doesn't have a gun on board, he can't shoot back. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm not even sure that uh, the fog would have given him any cover against torpedo fire either, to be honest. I can see him fairly clearly, so... Okay, now I can't. I know he's there, but I may actually have to close some distance on him because I can't actually see him anymore. Unless he just wants to die, that'd be great. I know he's in the fog there somewhere. I think I might be missing with that. Alright, let's go yes, sir. one third forward. Where's my thing? Here it is. Let's go like that and uh, return to course I just want to get close enough that I can see him I should be able to see him now forward anti-aircraft gun yep there he is we're on to our high explosive ammunition now because we're now out of armor piercing not that I'm particularly bothered about that I prefer our high explosive rounds anyway so we can actually stop here yes, sir. Well, that lifeboat's going uh, going to fly. I think he's about to die now. He's got a big fire on board. There we go. There goes the lifeboat. Alrighty, so, yeah, medium modern split, 3264 tons. Very nice. I'm happy with that. He's still exploding. There goes his rear mast. He's already lost his uh, smokestack. I don't think he's going to explode any more than that. Alright, do we have any other targets in the area? Possibly. Slow moving ship here, I reckon we can intercept that. If I grab this and go down like this. There he goes, under the waves. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Nice and deep here. No, never mind. <laughs> Strike that. What the? Is that another shipwreck down there? That could be another shipwreck. Where was he? Where, where, where'd he sink? That's the sun. He sank over here, didn't he? There he is. Is there another... I could have sworn I saw another stern of a ship and sticking out of the mud. Hmm, well, I guess not. No, this... Okay, it was this rock. It looks a lot like a, a stern from a particular angle. Like, from here, it kind of looks like that's the deck, and like that's the, 
the hull. Okay, no, so there wasn't another ship, but oh, I hate that noise. Alright, so we're going to go down here and hopefully catch this slow moving ship because he's definitely going into Surabaya. Let's go two thirds, not, uh, not standard. And hopefully we'll catch this guy on his way in. That's the plan, anyway. He's going to go like that. So we'll go right into the centre of the channel and hopefully we'll find him. So let's go. Slow moving ship ahead. There it is. We're going to go periscope depth because it's coming straight towards us, basically. We're going to keep moving, though. Here we go. This is good. And I'm going to stop right here. I'll wait for him to come to us because he will. And is he? He might actually be a bit far away. Uh, nope, nope. We just have really shitty weather again, apparently. Let's go to 55 depth. And hopefully we'll see him soon. Seriously? Must be foggy. Oh yeah, it's foggy. Alright. Surface the boat. Go one third and make a right. I don't know what he is, or if he has a gun on board, but the fog is up, so we don't have much of a choice. We're going to have to engage him on the surface. Can we see him on the surface? We can. It's an engine aft, so I would have engaged him on the surface anyway. So that's not a big deal. Yes, sir. All right, let's just head towards him. Yes, sir. There we go. Straighten the boat. Yes, Two thirds to the forwards AA gun and start shooting. I really shouldn't complain too much about old engine afts. I mean, they do just bolster my, my sinking tally quite well and they don't have any chance of damaging me, so I suppose I shouldn't be upset when I find them, but it just annoys me that I can't find bigger ships sometimes. Don't know how many more shots he's going to take, a few. There he goes. Enemy unit destroyed. That was one heck of an explosion. Alright, so, oops, that was the wrong button. So he was worth 1,558 tons. Not exactly a world record breaker there, but, oh well, where am I? Where's my submarine? There I am. Alright, so, any more contacts? No. I'm half tempted to just go check out what's in Surabaya. I mean, it's not a, not a tiny port. There's quite a few berths. There could be something worth sinking in there. Yeah, why not? I haven't been into a port for a long time. Let's let's, uh, let's just go into Surabaya. It's unlikely there's going to be anything of a threat to me here, so let's go in and out. That seems like a fun idea. Let's do that. So, there is, of course, unless there's any... There might be some guns on the surface or something that might see me coming in. So what have we got? We've got a gunboat, or possibly a sandbag, but probably a gunboat. That's something else there. That's a stationary merchant. I want to get further in before I go to periscope depth. I will go to periscope depth though. That's another stationary ship of some description. All right, let's go periscope depth now. And we'll get in here and we know that there's a few ships here. Uh, yeah, they're going to be like right on top of me here if I don't see them. Let's go to 55. Is it really that fog? Oh, wow. It is pitch black. Alright, well, I'm actually going to stop and wait for morning. And uh, we'll see if we can see anything in the morning. This is how bad the visibility is. That is a sandpan right there. Let's get rid of this thing so you can see it. That is the sandpan right there. That is it zoomed out. If I go over here, you can see it's literally right next to me. It's about, I don't know, 50 yards away? Let's see. Okay, 250 yards away. And that is basically the limit of my visibility right now. So hopefully, once the sun comes up, it'll be slightly better. We'll, see. we'll, we'll, we'll find out when it does. So yeah, let's, let's just wait. Okay, so it's morning, and, and the visibility was not any better, so I decided to set off again, and it looks like we've got a 
a small modern composite, I want to say. Probably wrong, but... Oh, okay. Must be a medium, then. Yeah, medium modern composite. Modern split, sorry. Yeah, medium modern split. That's, that's worth sinking. 3,200 tons. Let's just get moving. We've got another one on the left there. That's the... I think that's a gunboat. It's over here somewhere. There we go. That's a gunboat. We can't sink him from submerged at all. So it's not even worth trying. So we're just going to keep moving. It's going to be another... We should be right next to this ship now. Yeah, let's actually stop here because I actually want to sink this thing that's right next to me. This thing. Is it moving? I actually just want to go into external view so I can see that it's actually not bugged. No, it's not bugged, it's moving. So we can shoot this. Uh, I swear there was another ship on the surface over there somewhere, like marked on the map before I came in here. Like when the visibility was slightly better. Let's wait for us to stop a little bit. There we go. We are stopped a little bit now. And let's just sink this guy. So lock him in. Angle. Well, actually, that's range, whatever. Um, doesn't really matter about that, to be honest. Angle is there. Speed is nothing. That's all I need to know. Right. So it's going to have to be aft tubes. Actually, even then, we're too close to use an aft tube, so... There we go. Let's stop. I'm pretty sure we're close enough to Let's open this tube. Contact, low speed. Put it low in the water. Let's just make it contact influence at 17 depth. And we'll just wait a little bit until it's like right in the middle there. Never mind, we'll just turn that off. There we go. And we will fire it right here. Okay. So we'll see if this will arm in time. It ought to. I think it's got enough time to arm. It should do. But it might not. We never know. That was a good low hit, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. It probably won't be. Let's just speed time up a little bit. It's taking on water. It's taking on a lot of water. Not quite submerged yet, though. Yeah, you know what? What I can do, actually, is just reverse. Yes, sir. Because what I can do is just reverse up behind it. And even though there's a gunboat there, it really can't do anything if it can't see me past the, the other ship. So the gunboat is like down there somewhere. That surface here, in fact not even surface, let's go 30. And then we can, because uh, there's no, no guns on this thing, so it's not going to, well there is a anti-aircraft gun there, but that's no threat. So the gunboat can't shoot at me from here, so I should just have free reign to, to gun it down with the aft AA gun. Which will be fine, because the gunboat won't be, able, won't be able to shoot me through it. So, right. Yep, there it goes its alarm, because it's right here. But whatever, I don't care. I don't think gunboats uh, will actually move if they're stationary. Or well, any ship actually will move if, if it's stationary. Unless it's you know, not stationary to begin with. 236, I think that might be. It's either this ship that I'm currently shooting, or it's the gunboat. And actually, honestly, I think I could, I could take on a gunboat. I'm not too concerned about it. Question is, how many rounds does this thing plan on taking? Oh, we've spotted a bunch of ships. That's good. I guess the fog must be clearing a bit. Let's put some in back here. It doesn't seem too keen on taking damage up the front there. Oh, there we go. It's going to die. Don't know where these other ships are, but alright. Okay. 
so external camera yeah see we're only literally just above the surface with the with the anti-aircraft guns we couldn't fire the deck gun at this depth so we can literally just come above the surface to to fire off those and we go back down to periscope depth so he's been killed there we go just down below the waves and our dudes apparently have scuba equipment which actually isn't a bad idea so 1558 that's not bad let's see what those things were okay so there's a oh yeah there are a lot of guys in port there actually let's go one third and go left because I want to see what they are oh well there goes that one he's going down explosion we do like a good explosion and there's the gunboat I don't think could do anything about it I don't think he's even got any crew on board so it's possible that he's just stationary yeah he's not moved so he can't do anything all right let's get moved in towards the dock straighten the boat actually I want to go right here there we go so we spotted one there and there I want to get sort of between them let's do a left and just turn completely around so now we should be able to see three let's actually just stop right here it's a good place to stop if we can see three ships from here let's go back up to 55 because these these waves are fucking awful all right so there's the port we've got something over here somewhere there's one right there that's the same as the other one the uh, composite there should be there's not one back that far oh, okay oh there's a large modern tanker that's gonna get sunk and that's another large modern tanker this was worth it alright let's mark these in just because we are here uh, actually let's mark the other one first because we've got it up currently so that one and then two large modern tankers so one there and one there now the question is do they have guns on board that one does because when they're when they're in port you cannot sink them with one torpedo and that one does as well does this guy have a gun no not a threatening one anyway all right so let's go for this one first because we've got a good angle on this should I wait until we're not actually moving anymore there we go we have stopped moving range doesn't actually matter so we'll put it really high and um, angle doesn't matter speed doesn't actually matter at all let's fire I'll fire two into this guy and uh, yeah that ought to do it so um, hmm oops that's not what I want I want it to be yeah contact torpedoes I want them pretty low let's put them at 15 can I actually get it to hit it in the side no not with a forward torpedo can, I can hit that one with a forward torpedo but not this one so I have to hit this one with aft torpedoes so put these down to 15 15 they're both contact already for some reason and then we can aim yeah like this can we oh if it stopped being annoying we could because you can't go up to 20 with that for some reason we'll put one there and this one will go about there we're probably both hitting the same place but whatever all right so this will do a lot of damage but it probably won't die actually I should probably check to see that they're not bugged they could be bugged that one is not that one is not that's good so the two ones I really want to sink are not bugged is this one bugged no good all right so this will be the first one I'm gonna hit so I don't know how long torpedo is gonna get to take to get there but 
Oh, there's the first torpedo. That looks very far aft. Very far aft. But whatever. This one is also very far aft. Pretty much in the same place, but nowhere near where I was aiming for. Oh well. Alright, so there is now a big hole there. Oh, nice, he's dead. Very nice indeed. Or is he? I didn't actually say that he was killed. He exploded, but didn't actually kill him. That's interesting. If I just wait, will he sink? Well, he's sinking. Uh. Really? Um. He is not actually dead. He still has crew over here. Even manning his big gun. That's very irritating, actually. But I was kind of expecting that. Well, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to explode and then not die. I was just expecting him to take more than two torpedoes. Alright, let's hit this guy while we're waiting. What we'll do is we'll hit both of these guys and damage them heavily. And then we will pop up and just quickly deck gun them. So I'll put one there, and this one I'll put at the back, like there. And hopefully that will do more damage than hitting them two in the same place. Alright. Torpedoes are away. Let's speed it up a little bit. And here we go. Contact's about to occur. It's a big hole. And then the aft one. Another big hole. It probably won't be enough to kill it. But I don't know how much damage it's actually going to do. Taking a lot of water. The question is, will it take on enough? The, question, the answer is probably no. No. Alright, I'm going to come up to 35 feet so that we can use the AA gun and hopefully these guys will not be able to shoot at me. I want the forward AA gun. Alright. Well, they'll be able to shoot at me, but hopefully they won't be able to hit me because they shouldn't be accurate enough to do that. So where are they? There's one over here somewhere. I actually can't see over the waves at this depth, which is a bit annoying. Is that it there? I don't think it is, but it might be. Yeah, if I can't see it, I can't actually shoot it, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I think it, that's it there, but I'm going to have to go higher because I can't actually see it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that is it. I'm just going to start shooting now. We are going higher so I can actually see it properly. Okay, so he's now on fire. Uh, because of his angle, he can't actually shoot at me. That's good. Which means I should be shooting the other guy, because he actually can shoot at me. So let's start shooting this guy quickly. Yeah, because see that gun right there is at the right depth that he's able to shoot me. So this one's actually a threat. Not a big threat, but a threat nevertheless. Okay, another big explosion. Hasn't said he's dead yet, so I'm going to keep firing. Enemy unit destroyed. I think that was that one. So, let's move back to this one again. And just get these guys killed. We're under attack. I'm not sure anyone actually did any damage there. Might just shoot. Oh, okay. That guy's shooting at me. Whatever. Is this one's still alive. I haven't heard the deck gun of the other one, so. I think this one's still alive. Be nice if he would die. Really would. So I'm a little bit confused by this. Let's just check. That one's definitely. Yeah, he's definitely not shooting anymore. This guy is on fire. I'm not convinced that he's dead. 
Let's take a look here. Yeah, he's not dead yet. So, he needs to die. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. Well, it's not, but you know what I mean. You need to die. If I take his funnel off, will that help? Probably not, but whatever. Please die. Seriously, you're taking a ridiculous amount of ammunition. Alright, let's hit him with the deck gun, because it's possible that I'm not actually penetrating him. Yeah, because the other guy can't hit me at this at this depth, so we should be okay to surface. There we go. Because what I was concerned about was that other that other guy. Alright, so this gun will give me better penetration. So hopefully that will be enough to sink this guy, or explode this guy, I suppose. Seriously. Feel free to die any time now. I know these things are like a beast in dock, but they're not supposed to be this beastly. Let's take his uh, funnel off if we can. It's possible he won't take any damage at the rear. He's already underwater. I guess really I just want to put holes in his front here. Because if he will go underwater at the front, that would be enough. I may have to fire another torpedo just to get rid of him. But why he's not dead yet, I don't know. I mean, seriously, I've done a lot of damage to him. So, please sink. I, mean, I know you've already half sunk, but please just die. Seriously. Why is he not dead yet? I don't understand. Fuck it, I'm just going to hit him with another torpedo. I'm going to use the other deck gun to kill this guy over here. He's actually stopped firing at me now. I guess he's realised that it's pointless. Or maybe he'll start firing again now. I'm firing at him, I don't know. Or maybe it's part of his master plan. Who knows? This really is shooting fish in a barrel. Or I think rather shooting fish at barrels, because, you know, torpedoes, fish. I've never had a ship that would refuse to sink before though. I mean other than ones that you just cannot damage. Ones that actually move and then sink a bit have always sunk, so. It is possible to put him down, he's just refusing to. If you'd like to die, that'd be great. Definitely hitting you, so... Really? I want to show some sign of damage. Yeah, we're definitely hitting him. So why it's not taking damage, I don't know. Or maybe it is. I don't know. There we go. Finally starting to show some damage. Enemy unit destroyed. There we go. I think that's that one over there. I somewhat doubt that it's this one. Cool. There we go. There's that one gone. Yeah, I'm just going to fire another torpedo at this one, because seriously, what the fuck. Actually, I don't even need to do this, I can just... At least I do. Uh, no, this one, lock that, reset, and there goes the other one. Alright, so it needs to be an aft tube, because the only one I can actually... Oh, hello, there's a gunboat right there. How long has that gunboat been there? It's on this... no, this side. I don't know how long he's been there, but he's not been shooting at me, which is kind of interesting. Oh well, I'm going to take you out. Because you're right there. Probably should have noticed this guy just sitting there. But oh well, never mind. 
Pretty sure I can take him out with an air gun. Yep, there we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Boom. Yeah, they're a lot more threatening if they shoot back at you. Alright, so... It's going to have to be an aft tube, so that... Is that tube open? Nope. Alright, so it needs to hit it near the front, which means I need to go forward a tiny bit. So let's go... There we go. That'll do. Let's stop. And wait for us to stop. Two, one, and... Stopped. Alright. Let's reset this. There we go. And I want to put torpedo right there. Contact. Doesn't really matter about the speed. Fire. Alright. Where's the torpedo? There it is. Away she goes. And this one really ought to finish this guy off. If it doesn't, I don't know why not. Alright. Oh, it's become bugged. So, it wasn't bugged to begin with, but now it is. Because that didn't move it at all. Yeah, it's, it's completely stationary now. It's actually a bugged ship. That really annoys me about port sinking, especially when it's a fucking 10,000 ton tanker. Uh, well, at least we got one of them. We got lar one large modern tanker, a medium modern split, and a medium gunboat for, what's that in total? Uh, 14... 14,000? Somewhere around there? Alright, let's, uh, let's continue around. There's actually a plane over there, which is interesting. I'm just going to run that down. Actually, no, I'm not, because I won't get any credit for that if I do. So let's just get over there. It's also a, a gunboat as well. Okay, let's return to course and periscope depth. Before I do that, though, where is that plane? I think that may have just hit us. Maybe. I don't see that plane anywhere. It was in front of me somewhere. Is that it? No, I have no idea where it is. Don't know what's shooting at me. Something is. It could be the large modern tanker, actually. Alright, so. There's another ship down there. There is also a plane right next to me. Over here. There it is. Let's stop. Go up to 30. Come on, up we go. That'll do. We'll go to the aft AA gun. And just take this thing out. Because it's right here. destroyed, there we go, and there's a gunboat, that's a... Then what, there's the gunboat. Can I actually target him? Apparently I can. Can't see him, but I can target him. Thank you for moving your arms, so I can actually see him now. Pretty sure I can take him out. There's also an old engine aft parked over here, which we will take out with the deck gun. Alright, we're just laying to him. This is what Surabaya gets for turning to the Japanese. Shame I can't refit here, to be honest. But oh well. So annoying that ship just bugged and while, while it was sinking. It's like, urgh, fucking irritating. I've never actually had that happen before. That is bugged after being hit. Oh well. This thing should die soon. Oh, fine, you can have one more for good measure. Alright, and there is another gunboat down there. I think there's also some more regular ships down there, so. Uh, What's that? Oh, that's the uh, old engine aft going down. Let's straighten up here. And we'll go. And there's a gunboat right there. We're under attack. I don't know if it's actually done any damage or not. 
Oh, ow. Yeah, that, that might hurt if he hits me. But considering we're already on the surface, we may as well just blow him up. It's probably quicker to deal with him this way than to try and evade him. There we go. Bitch, he's dead. Did that do any damage? Nope, nothing has damaged anyone injured. No one is injured. That's all good. Alright, so any more ships around? I'm sure there were more ships. I think I might actually hit that wall. Let's uh let's turn. Yeah, I think that may have been all the ships that were in Surabaya Harbour. That's knowing that one's still alive. Let's return to course and we will see. Let's get rid of that. We will see if there's any over here. There might be, there might not. But we'll see. Let's go over there. Anything? Doesn't appear to be. Grisk appears to be empty. We should be able to... What's that? That's my rear. We should be able to see it over here. Apparently not. It's possible we're not close enough to actually see if there's anything in here, so I'm going to go closer. Uh, I'm going to go like this. Where's the other bit of this? There, I've got that. Okay. Well, that's annoying, but whatever. Okay. So let's go closer and see if there's actually anything here at all. There might not be. It might just be completely empty. Uh, I don't like how close we're getting to that dock. No, we're fine. Now, apparently there's nothing here. So that's nice. Absolutely nothing of interest here whatsoever. So it looks like we've had everything there is to have at Surabaya. And Gresik, whatever the fuck it's called. So, time to leave. How many torpedoes do we have left? Uh, nine, and only in the aft. Uh, I can't actually move these to the aft, even though I'm on the surface right now. So, yeah, I thought I could do that, but I can't, so that kind of sucks. Do we have any reports? We've got large convoy, large convoy, not really interested in large convoys. About the only thing I'm not interested in, to be honest. So, um... I suppose we'll just sort of patrol around here for a bit longer and then once we're starting to run out of torpedoes we'll go back home. Excuse me. So that's what the plan is. Two thirds, return to course and onwards. Alright, so I was going to patrol a bit longer but the game has developed the uh, the FPS bug. Like, when I go to time acceleration it's like really fucking slow and I mean like really slow, like one FPS at like 2000 times speed. So it's going to take me a long time to get home and I am not going to bother trying to um, trying to sink any more ships on the way home. We're just going home so I can end this patrol and that will fix the bug. So we're going home now. I mean I know we've still got nine torpedoes on board but I can't do anything about it. I mean look, if I if I go up uh, time acceleration here, 2000 is down to 4 FPS right now, 3003, up to 3.5 is down to 2. Yeah, you, you can see the clock, how, how slowly it's moving. This is not like fiddled with at all. This is literally how slow it is. It's going 2 FPS right now. So this is going to take me like 10 minutes to get home. So I'm not fucking about with this. I'm just going home. Alright, we're coming back. This is about the fastest I can go, about a thousand speed, and it's uh, it's taken about ten minutes to get back. It's been fucking boring as shit. But, oh well, we're nearly back now. I'm not expecting a good patrol off this one, just because we still have nine torpedoes left in the in the tanks, but if we're lucky, we might get mm, 60 to 80,000, if we're lucky. Um, otherwise, we, we just get a bunch of shit, but, oh well. We'll probably still get a Congressional Medal of Honor for it. So, that's all good, I suppose. We're nearly in range now. Please just let me finish. There we go, right. Refit. And end patrol. See what happened. 70,000. So, 60 to 80,000, right in the middle of that. Uh, we did do all of our objectives. We sunk 18 merchant ships and 5 warships. Only, like three of those are really worth it. I think actually one of those warships was actually that war plane, which is a bit dodgy. Oh, we did get our 13th Congressional Medal of Honor, even though that was a really bad patrol for our standards. We should have gotten a lot more, just, you know, that bug really pisses me off. 
So, September 6th, 1943, we're in Perth, Fremantle, Australia. I don't need that to finish that, I know where we are. Our current top score is 1,331,232 tons. Very nice. Yeah, these guys are getting left in the dust. So that's great. Have we got any new upgrades? It's probably unlikely. Um, I actually kind of do want this guy because, let's see, what actually is important for these guys? I can't tell from him. Right, so definitely electrical. Uh, probably electrical and watchman is what's useful for these guys. And he's, mm, he's not bad, actually. Um, he's not bad either. But this guy... He's not actually that good. All right, well, fine. <laughs> Forget him then. All right, so we have no promotions, but we do have some bronze and silver stars. So, bronze star. Who doesn't have a silver star? Who might deserve one? Um, deck watch guy. You deserve one. And control room guy. You can have one. Bronze stars. Who deserves one but doesn't have one? I'm not going to say the new guy on the deck gun yet, because he doesn't really deserve it yet. He hasn't really done the thing. Uh, oh, half torpedo room has got a couple of guys who don't have them, so we'll go like that. And let's go for the control room. There we go. So 56,800 renown left. Do we have any new upgrades? Not that I can see there. Nothing there, nothing there. No new, no new torpedoes, so we're sticking with the Mark 14s. They haven't really steered me wrong so far. We got our 13 Congressional Medals of Honor. Uh, sunk a lot of shit. And everything else is now set up for our next patrol. So, I hope you've enjoyed this somewhat shortened patrol, which is probably still going to be like two, possibly three episodes. And uh, come back next time when we're going to go out, not have that annoying bug, hopefully, and sink a lot more ships. So I will see you then.